Hey guys, it's Dustin here. Um, today we're going to be doing a quick video, or at least I hope it's quick, of um, two products that I just recently bought at the Sephora that just came into town. As I mentioned in my, I think I mentioned it in my last video, we just got one in town maybe two, three months ago. Um, so yeah, that's what we will be doing today. I hope you enjoy it. Okay. So, the first product that I'm going to be reviewing is the Murad Clarifying Wipes for Blemish Prone Skin. Um, I, the reason I bought these was because Graveyard Girl talks about how she loves them and she has blemish prone skin like I do. And honestly, I'm really impressed. They have, I think it's only like 0.5 salicylic acid and it, they don't burn like some of the other wipes that I've tried. You sting just a tiny, tiny bit. But they also have like a menthol -y feel afterwards, so it's not too bad, and it's actually kind of refreshing. Um, you definitely need wipes here in Indiana when it's 85 degrees, and it's always very, very, very humid. It's, <laughs> it's been really bad the past couple of days. So these are like my saver when I'm like out, outside or running around town and I'm sweating and I just need my face clean. I want it to look nice. It also has, uh, I think, witch hazel in it to help minimize the pores, which it actually does a great job of that too, probably along with the other things that I've been using. So overall, I'll definitely be buying them again. This pack, it's the 30 count. It was $18. This will probably last me about two or three weeks, so it's definitely worth the price. Um, you do have to be careful, because this, the 30-pack, is in the Murad section. Their Murad skincare section. In the travel section, or the section by the checkout, they have the 15-count, which they charge, I think it's, th I can't really remember the exact price, it was like $13 or $15 for half the amount of wipes. So go to the mirror ad section and make sure that you get the 30 count. I think Graveyard Girl has also mentioned this in the past. Don't get ripped off. I don't know why they do that and why the price is so close to each other when you're getting half the amount of product. That's one thing that I might complain about for this company. But... I'm excited to try some of their other products. I'm going to try their face wash, um, and I've heard their, the facial scrub's good, so I might do that when I need to get my when I need to get my face wash when I run out of this one, um, which is the Alginist Gentle Rejuvenating Cleanser. Overall, I'm not saying it's a bad product. I like this product. It makes my face feel squeaky clean. But it doesn't do anything really, like, spectacular. I got this small bottle in the travel section. It's 45 milliliters for, I think it was $10, which is... I mean, I've been using it for a week, and I've only gone through 15 milliliters of it, according to the package. We'll see how accurate that is. But, I mean, it's not bad. It has their patented algeronic, algeronic acid, whatever it's called. It's pretty good stuff, but... It doesn't have the salicylic acid or anything for acne-prone skin, so if you're wanting something for acne-prone skin, probably opt for a better option. Um, but the reason, the reason that I got that one was because, where is it? I asked the girl at Sephora that was working the floor if they had any good eye creams for dark circles, because... I don't know. Some people say they don't see what I'm talking about, but I always see it. So, <laughs> I was like, what, you know, what's your best seller, or what would you recommend for dark circles under the eyes? Um, and luckily enough, they give you samples of almost anything there, so I can't really complain too much about this, because it's a sample. And she gave me enough to probably last me, she said two weeks, but honestly, it's probably going to be like three weeks to a month. Um, it's the Alginus Complete eye renewal balm. This isn't about the company's fault or anything like that. I was just kind of hoping that a Sephora person, I mean, I know it's a new store, but 
what products do you see go through the cash register most, you know, offer that if it's specifically for dark circles. When I asked her for the dark circle correction stuff, she just turned around and looked at the anti-aging section and was like, oh, and picked this up off the shelf and was like, this is a really popular one. It's won a ton of awards, which it may have. Overall, it's a good eye cream. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it definitely helped with my puffiness and it's lightened it up a little bit. But I view it's sixty-five dollars for a tub, which I mean is your typical amount of eye cream. I don't know how much that is. But and it's just I've used some in the past where I put it on my dark circles. And like literally five, ten minutes, they're gone. But this isn't something that's actually specifically for dark eyes. I just wish she would know what she was talking about. If you do want to go to eye cream though, I mean, I'd definitely give it a try out. Get a sample, see if it works for you. It didn't really work for me. So it's a product that I'm definitely not going to rebuy, but I'll still probably use up my sample of. Honest truth, but. Um, yeah, so those are the two products and the one sample that I got. Next time I'm going to go a little bit more far out on the splurge, but may do an actual haul video. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you enjoyed it and you'd like to see what's coming up next, please feel free to subscribe. Um, and yeah, I guess I'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs>